stabilize. Let me scry. Fire hazard. Solidify. Delve into destiny. Feel the split. Stabilize. Let me scry. Solidify! Order guide you! Shadows of fate! Flicker! Certainly worth the extra mile. Gather now. the fireworks. Delve into destiny. Written in the star. Here you are. Mirror, 
Solidify. Delves into death and can see the Decided by destiny. Shadows of fate.
Is your child feeling any better? Thank you for your concern, Fremine. His condition is fairly stable. The family doctor said we might be able to take him out for a stroll today. Zuria, Fremine, we're here! <laughs> Seems like everyone's arrived now. Not quite. Aren't we missing someone? Hey, Daxi! Udah punya dang sama perisai lucu banget. Oh, Daxi's got himself a sword and a shield now. He's looking sharp. Indeed. With his weapons in hand, Thalxi looks more formidable than ever. You've really outdone yourself, Remine. We helped you. Yes, you really had a good eye for materials. Everything you found was high quality. Speaking of which... Zuria just told me that she wants to end the adventure with the coronation ceremony. So, uh, could I also trouble you with finding some materials for the crown? You can just keep an eye out for them on our way to the ruins. I was planning to collect the materials myself, but then I realized you might be able to find some prettier ones than what I could get my hands on. Ready to go. Shall we head out? Please wait a moment. I was just thinking. Since Thalxi has already shown us his brand new appearance, we may already be able to draw a new page in the picture book. Ooh, Paimon's excited now. Hmm. Why don't we use the story we know as a... So we'll take out the sad parts and replace them with happier stuff? All right. I'll give it a try. I'm not very adept at drawing, but I've seen a lot of art during my work. Let me think. We can draw the weapon. The prince... Okay, I'll add the weapons. Anything else? Paimon wants to give him some friends. thoxy has got some friends by his side now, so he... Okay, I'll also draw some companions. Anything else? Color. Ah, oh, color, yes! That's really important. The road in front of him now will no longer be just grayscale. Who would have thought the page could have become so inspiring? How wonderful! Splendid ideas, everyone! Great! Everyone looks super pumped up! Thalxi, most of all! Are you seeing this, my son? Are you feeling inspired by this as well? I'm sure he is, Zuria. And this is still just the first page. That's right! Paimon can't wait to see the picture book when it's all finished! We should finish it as soon as possible and keep up the belief and hope in our hearts. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to look forward to it as well. So let's get the show on the road and head towards the Kingdom of Water Imps. Yay! Thalxi's fantastic adventures begin now!
rihana
myself. Conquering demons is what... Materials that we can use for the crown, right? Let's get some for Fremine. These should be enough. I knew you'd have a knack for finding the best materials. We shouldn't need anything else to head to the Kingdom of Water Imps. So these are the underwater ruins that Fremenay found. They're pretty amazing, but still not exactly the kind that Paimon was imagining. Oh, yeah, Paimon knows. I'm sorry. I was hoping to put up some decoration. Whoa, someone's already switched into fantasy mode. Seems like the travelers already got the gist of things. Uh, don't underestimate Paimon. Paimon can flip the switch too. Ahem. <clears throat> Young adventurers, tis Paimon! Uh... We are the companions of Prince Thalxi, your Divine Highness. We have come to help him reclaim the glory that he has lost. Oh, reclaiming your glory? Thy goddess here has golden glory, silver glory, and bronze glory. Which is it that the prince has lost? Huh? Uh... Not at all! This is the goddess's test! <clears throat> From your responses, the goddess has concluded that you're all brave adventurers without the taint of greed in your hearts. So please accept the goddess's reward. The goddess will now bestow all three types of glory upon you. And as for this prince, the goddess will also bestow upon you the rainbow glory. So your future will always be filled with light. My gratitude to your Divine Highness for such generous blessings. Power is now... Uh, me... Me too. 
Is this the divine inspiration of legend? <laughs> Ahem. Now, adventurers, forge bravely ahead and defeat the monsters that have taken over the kingdom. Please be careful, brave adventurers. Just ahead are some evil enemies that have invaded the kingdom of Wargrims. They're called... Uh... Healy Churros of the Deep! <gasps> Those accursed enemies are back again. Your Highness, please show them what you're made of. Here we go! Pitch! Commencing cleanup! Get in here! Under attack again. It's a law which of the deep. There's no need to fear, my friends. His Highness is so strong now that even a divinitor of the deep would pose no threat to him. Access denied. It should now be time for us to attend Thuxi's coronation ceremony. The only thing is, it was my mistake. I should have told Fremenae earlier that we would also need a crown. It's all because the Traveler and Goddess Paimon were too strong! We it's okay, Zuria. We can come back again once I've made the crown. Then I must thank all of you again for taking the... Thuxi's turning out to be a real expert at fighting! I don't think there's anything that will be able to stop him. He's like a true prince now. Yes, I agree as well. Let's head back to camp for now. I asked the traveler to search for some materials on the way because I want to make the crown as soon as possible. We can add an update to Thuxi's fantastic adventures as well. Now that we've reclaimed the kingdom of water imps, it's time for us to draw some new scenes in the picture book. Why don't we draw the new pages first? Paimon really wants to update the picture book. Hey, you didn't have to see it. <laughs> no problem. I'm happy to oblige. After overcoming many obstacles, Prince Thelxi and his brave companions finally arrived at the entrance to the Kingdom of Water Imps. At this time, the little fairy in the group, Paimon, revealed her true goddess form to her companion. <laughs> the goddess has she praised the companions for their purity, and to reward them, she bestowed upon them many bless- Bathed under the goddess's glory, the prince and his companions charged into the bastion of evil, chased away the monsters, and rescued the pretty water imps from their imprisonment. Oh no! The crown isn't ready yet! No. The crown was within the prince's reach, but the monsters took it with them as they fled. Thank you, everyone. We've also completed the second page of the picture book now, my child. You'll also be able to brighten up when that time comes. 
I'm sure he will, Zuria. Who knows? Perhaps the doctor will already have some good news for you when you get back home today. I sure hope so, your divine highness. Oh, Fremine, about the time you'll need for the crown. Please don't worry. One day should be more than enough. Ah, then I must thank you for your hard work. All right, let's rendezvous here in another two days' time. And see you in two days, my lovely friends. Hmm. All right, it's about time we start heading off, too. Yeah. I will need to go to the city shortly to get some parts for the base of the crown. I want to try out a few different designs and choose the one that looks the best. Yeah. Paimon knew that you didn't often take commissions from others, but Paimon had no idea you'd be so dedicated. Ah, uh, well, about that. Uh, because... It's because... I hope... <laughs> Blushing. Uh, what's the matter? And what's with that look on your face? Uh, am I turning red? <laughs> all right, all right. We won't bother you anymore for... Okay, thank you. <sighs> I hope that everyone who's found themselves in a dark place would be able to see something beautiful. Maybe this week. Committed to memory. Yeah. You can't run. Well, try.
challenge complete. Tuh kan, gak nyampe. Bentar, bentar. paling bener pakai sinjo. Hmm. <laughs> Solidify. Order guide. Everyone hold hands. Body and huh? Huh. Don't be a killjoy! Oh, you only just begun! Fry! Fry! Incoming! I will have order! Witness the power of Gugwa! mendapat uang oh yang penting 2000 ya Julisku Stabilize. Illusion shattered. Quicker. <laughs> Solidify. Shadows of fate. Fate is upon you. Torn to oblivion. The process of elimination. Stabilize. Shine down. Quicker. The frat. Hmm. 
Solidified. A process of elimination. Delved into destiny. Decided by destiny. There is no escape. Inazuma shines eternal. Flicker. With Prince Taxi at the center, we'll win. I need to go to the <laughs> Another <coughs> solidify. Strike a pose. Settle uh. down. What you got? 
stabilize. Cut to the chase. Incoming. Let the mighty be humble. Solidify. I will have order. Time to shine. Shower me with praise. Yeah. Heat of light. Ah. Nowhere to hide. Bow your head. The tides beckon. Perturbed. I am on. Don't blink. Yeah. Settle down. Fuck. <laughs> this is order. Hey. Bow your head. The sword from shadow. Cuci aku belum ganti senjata Tuh kan cuci nya belum ganti senjata Cuci Tuh Sacred name, the fortune preserver. Received. Shower me with that. A moment, please.
Stabilize. This is order. Let's begin. Have a safe trip. Let's go find Fremenay at his camp! <laughs> There's quality here. This is destiny. Hey, Fremenay! Belksy! We're here! 
Hello, Paimon. Hello, traveler. Is the crown ready? Yes. We're just waiting for Zuria now. She hasn't arrived yet. Then let's wait for her a little while. Or actually, maybe we can go find her. It's not too far from here anyway. Didn't she say she just lives on the hill over there? Hey, traveler, Paimon. Oh, and speaking of... Found you two at long last. Oh, I'm so glad that you both are all right. Huh? Why are you here, Miss Delarose? What could have happened? That water imp Thelxy, of course. After I gave... Oh, that? We've got it all figured out now. The boy you heard about was just Framine. Even the missing fish was his fault. Oh, sorry about that. I've been diving in the area recently. Huh? What, Fremine? Diving? No, 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 that's not what happened at all. What I was told is that about a month ago, a child tied a bunch of heavy seashells onto his body and walked into this open stretch of water. He never came back. What could that be? Uh, are, uh, are you sure? One hundred percent sure. I've confirmed the account with several veteran fishermen I know. The child was only eight years old. Yeah, His name was Lesko. Lesko Destray. Wait, Lesko Destray? Yeah, that's the name. They say the family took on the name after moving to the city from a place called Stray. Anyway, his mother is a pretty famous art dealer, while his father passed away from an accident many years ago. Oh, well, naturally, his mother was devastated by the incident and fell terribly ill. It's said that she left the court of Fontaine, and no one knows where she's gone. It... it, it can't be, right? Lesko Destre? Zuria Destre? I'm sorry, miss. We've got to go check on something right now. Oh, I see. Well, you go on ahead. I just came to make sure that you're both all right. Stabilize! Delve into death! Time for a light show! The hunter becomes the hunter. The hunted. What do we have here? Let me 
open it. Ultinya kurang satu. Shadows of fate! A little taste. Delve into destiny. Feels as lit. Pick the wrong test subject.
bisa masuk. Jadi, kok dia terbang? Eh, kok kamu terbang? Tapi caranya aku naik situ. Hello. Tapi aku boleh naik situ. Ah ini dah, dah mampang. Ayo, aku mau naik. Kurukur. Solidify. Shadows of fate. Certainly worth the extra miles. Certainly worth the extra miles. Indeed. Excuse us. Uh, is anyone here? Who are you? I have a patient here who needs quiet bed rest. Please leave us be unless you have anything urgent to report. This is the residence of Zuria Destri, and I'm Jala Khan, her family doctor. What did you mean by your question just now? Your patient should be Zuria's son, right? She told us herself that her son had contracted loneliness syndrome. No, you're right. Young Master Lesko did have that illness once upon a time, but he's... Well, the young master's no longer with us. And now, the madame has come down with the same illness. Are you... her friends, by any chance? Oh, so when she had requested time to go out over the past few days, it was so she could spend them with you. So if I'm understanding this right, 
The one who's suffering from uncontrollable delusions is the Madame herself? That is correct. When the young master disappeared, she was organizing an art exhibit that she had specifically prepared for him. That might have been the trigger for her regret. Or perhaps the family's fall into loneliness and grief was inevitable as soon as the old master passed away. But how could that be? She really looked like she had a handle on everything. Her smile was so lovely. Those actions are proof that she can no longer differentiate between fantasy and reality. Then all the other things that she told us about her... No, those were all real. Although... They were all things that happened before the young master left us for good. I see. So after her son left, she created a fantasy world where her son was still with her. She has been in a good mood the past few days, even humming a song when she returned from her stroll. She even began discussing with me the idea of using deliberate guidance to ease the illness. She spent a whole night staring at the shell the young master left behind and the words that he had inscribed onto it. Then she broke down once more. But, but then what should we do? How can we help her? There has to be something we can do. Don't panic, Paimon. Even though this is a devastating piece of news, what should we do? I need to think. Dr. Jalakon, have you seen a picture book? The Madame should have brought it back with hmm. Are you thinking about trying the guidance therapy she talked to me about before? Yes, this is it. That's right. If what Dr. Jalacon said was true, the past few days have been very helpful to Zuria. We need to show her that her child has found a happy ending in the world of her dream. But, but wouldn't that just make it harder for her to accept reality? One must first face reality before accepting it. The Madame has been crushed by her feelings of grief. Right. Before today, I had thought she wanted to use Thelxie's fantastic adventures to save her son. And if we could complete it, we should be able to give her some feeling of inspiration and closure. Maybe those feelings would be enough to give her some courage. There's no time to waste. Let's set off right away. Paling gampang pakai ini. We're here again. This is the final part of Thelxie's journey, but the most important person is missing. Everyone. Please don't be so down and gloomy. Remember what she told us? <sighs> You're right. Paimon needs to smile. If we have to give something to Zuria, it should be our smiles. And then she'll be able to recover, right everyone? Yeah, I'm sure she will. Stop. 
Stabilize. Sacred name. Fortune preserver. <sighs> Born of ice and frost. <laughs> Watch out, everyone! They're coming at us again! There's no need to fear! Prince Delxy looks stronger than ever today! He must be going all out! This is long overdue! I will have order! Let me scry! Stabilize. I'm sorry. I have to go. I made a promise to my friend. But, Madame, you're still... Don't try to stop me. Today's the most important day for treating Thelpsy. We'll use the guidance method. I'm not trying to stop you, Madame. It's just... <sighs> Could you tell me the name of your child? Dr. Jalakan, how can you forget the name of your own patient? His name is Thelpsy. He's the prince of the Kingdom of Water Imps. We will go today to reclaim his crown and attend his coronation ceremony. Ah, sorry, I I see. Madame, please rest assured, everything is still on schedule. Your friends have already departed to find... Wait, look. They've already returned. Zuriat! Zuriat! We've retrieved the crown! Oh, Paimon, everyone, have you really? Yes, but the coronation ceremony still hasn't taken place, because we felt like you should be the one to preside over it. Wonderful! How wonderful! Thelxie, my child, my child, are you hearing this? Everything you lost will now come back to you. And the last page of the picture book. It's still waiting for you to illustrate in color. Right, the picture book, the picture book. But I don't know what I should put on the last... Don't worry. Thelxy and his friends all know what she got. Get ready, Zurio. Okay, okay. <clears throat> At last, Thelxy and his friends were able to drive off the final invading monsters and achieve a dashing victory. Their success was complete, and the recovered crown resplendent. The water imps finally returning to their homes showered the prince with love and applause as he greeted them they once again offered their precious shells to the prince moved by everyone's happiness the prince stepped onto the rainbow bridge and took a good look at all the friends who had gone on the journey with him huh 
where's the last person? The prince looked frantically around, but could not find the person he wanted to see most. At that moment, the person suddenly appeared on the other side of the bridge. She walked towards him with a smile and slowly lifted her veil. The prince could not hold back his tears. He recognized then that the mysterious person that had been by his side the whole time was none other than his mother. Surya walked across the bridge and placed the crown above the prince's head. She smiled down upon him as she said, My prince, my king, you shall never, ever need to feel lonely again. That's the end of the story, Surya. Thank you. Thank you all. I am so sorry, my child. Mamo should have spent more time with you. Did you hear the story? <laughs> Mamo loves you too. But what's happening? Is Zuria talking to Thelxie? Quick, put on my diving helmet. There's a transcription module in it that's compatible with Thelxie's output signal. Mamo, Mamo loves you too. But I love you more, Mamo. What? Did you see something? Mamo, I'm getting a little sleepy. If it's time for bed, can you hum a lullaby to me again? Of course, my dearest child. Mm. As long as you want to hear it, Mamo will always hum for you. Thank you, Mamon. Your lullaby has always been my favorite. Now that I've heard it, I can return to my dream and to the kingdom of water imps in peace. <sighs> my poor darling. Please don't forget. I will always love you. My love is... Greater than the entire distance between here and the kingdom of water imps. I won't forget, Mamon. And so is my love for you. Greater than the entire distance between here and the kingdom of water imps. Good night, Mamon. Traveler, Paimon, you're here. Fremine, why did you call us in such a hurry? Did you hear something from Zuria? Oh, if it's not good news, Paimon doesn't want to hear it. Don't worry, it's definitely great news. The Madame came here for a visit just now with her doctor. Color has returned to her cheek. She said she'd like to return to the court to continue hosting the art exhibit. But this time... She'll work with her doctor to exhibit some picture books related to the illness. Of course, Thelxie's fantastic adventures and the guidance therapy will be included in the exhibit as well. She'd like to use her experience to help others. That's wonderful! <sighs> so it wasn't bad news after all. Mm-hmm. Here, please take this picture book with you. The Madame wanted you to have it. If at some point in the future, you were to run into someone with similar troubles, she hopes the book would be of use to you. Uh, but this is her son's story, right? Don't worry, it's just a copy. She still has the original. All right, then there's no problem. <sighs> it feels good knowing we've contributed to something important. Paimon definitely didn't expect the fantasy adventure to be so useful. Paimon was a little worried about how everything would turn out. Paimon. Do you know what the madame said? She said that at the moment when she placed the crown on Thelxie's head, she felt like she really saw something beautiful. Her child had returned, and he told her that he loved her. She also said that was when she was finally able to bid farewell to her son. 
She felt like at that moment, she was healed by some mystical power. Oh, really? But could that just be another part of her fantasy? Perhaps. But if fantasy is just fantasy, and the fantasy world is not real, then how could it still grant us these powers? But, but what else could it be? A descent of the fairy tale world into the real world. At that time, you saw it too, didn't you? But that can't be what happened, right? There's just no way. Yes. I suppose that would be a miracle. I hope that everyone who's found themselves in a dark place would be able to see something beautiful. Every journey has its final day. <laughs> 